Hey, y'all. Okay. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to what I am going to talk about. <laughs> it's just a chat and some what I'm going to call favorites. You know how all the YouTubers every year do favorites? I don't. I'll tell y'all what my favorites are all the time. And I don't keep a running list because this isn't my full-time job. And I know if it were, if I was a serious YouTuber and I was a good YouTuber, then I would do that. Would y'all like to see what I'm doing here? This is my little cup of coffee and I can't remember which one. Oh, this is the decaf. It's one of my favorites I'm going to show you. And this is my favorite creamer. Right there. It is made by Nestle. It's Coffee Mate Sugar-Free Hazelnut. And it is only 30 calories. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 Um, I just like that it's, it's sugar-free instead of fat-free. I haven't found one that's both. That's okay. Uh, anyway, and then, uh, and still tastes good. But that's Nestle brand Coffee Mate, and I like that. So, I put that in, and I put my sweetener of choice, which mine is sweet and low. I know, I'm old-fashioned. Some people are like, oh, it causes cancer, um... I think they came back and said that was actually a study that has been refuted since. And um, that they did like, you know, I don't know, 50 billion pumps of of the product into, I don't know what it was, probably laboratory rats. And they ended up saying, well, if you pumped that much into anything, it would give them cancer. So then they came back and did another study, and now I think they've come out and said it's actually not uh, been proven that it causes cancer at all um, but they have not removed that from the packaging sometimes I've seen it off and other times I've seen it on so oh. and that's one way to clean my little teaspoon is this a cute look it has a little tea teapot on the end is that the cutest it's gold it's so tiny Especially when I have people over, it's nice because it looks pretty and girly, like we're having a tea party. Hmm? How's your week been? You having a good week? Okay, so I'm going to get going here. What are some of my favorites? Well, because I talked about that coffee, I wanted to go over my Keurig favorites. Because some people may say, I don't do Keurig because they're responsible because all the plastic and the guy's so excited about the plastic that he says he wished he'd never invented it, so he came back and he's invented a um, um, recyclable bottom instead of plastic. Can I tell you something? When I throw this away, it's going to go in a plastic bag that will never probably break down, so it doesn't really matter what's inside. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I drink the most and when I'm talking to you. Uh, and sometimes if I do iced coffee, I'll make this coffee and pour it over ice. Um... But my favorite iced coffee really is from Chick-fil-A, and I'll tell you a little tip. I learned from them that one of the things you can do to make your iced coffee really good is put a teaspoon of, or probably a, not a teaspoon, that's way too much, like a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract in, stir it up real good. Yeah, a quarter teaspoon. Otherwise, you'll be like, that's really vanilla. Okay, so Krispy Kreme. Can you see that? Krispy Kreme. And that is my decaf uh, choice. I like that. Um, I have two regular that I like, and the number one is Kahlua Original Light Roast. And um, it, you know, people are like, is there alcohol? Like Kahlua is an after dinner brandy or something like that. I don't know what it is actually. It's alcohol, but um, I think it's like a really low grade alcohol. But anyway, no, this is not real Kahlua. It's Kahlua flavored. It says, but it doesn't taste like Kahlua to me. It's like good coffee, just like this is. And this is Newman's Own Organics. All of his profits go to charity. And this is called Newman's Special Blend, and it's a medium roast. Love that one. And then the one I've just tried lately that is a light roast is the Kona Blend from Archer Farms. And it's a little more unique. I don't know. It looks different. I don't know if it's recyclable or not. Anyway. Caution when hot, it says. Yes, you should always be careful when you have hot coffee. And then last but not least, this is actually probably my 
favorite of all, and that is the Van Hote Raspberry Chocolate Truffle. And it's in this little yellow packaging. Y'all, I love this one the most. And I usually get these at Bed Bath & Beyond. But you can order them online. Okay, so that's my coffees. I do happen to have two teas that I love, and they're both from Harney and & Sons. Um, and, they, and they come in these beautiful little tins. I love this tin. I mean, honestly, I love this tin. This would be great to put uh, makeup brushes in. But it's the Harney & Sons Raspberry Herb Tea. And you can either, um, you know, go ahead and brew it and make it hot tea, or you could brew it and a lot more use more tea bags and um, make it into cold tea, iced tea. It's a hibiscus blend rich with ruby red raspberry notes and is naturally caffeine free. So the ingredients on this one just sound good. Hibiscus flowers, rose hip berries, apple granules, raspberry leaves, orange and lemon peels, red poppy flowers, spearmint, peppermint, and leaves with natural and artificial raspberry flavors. I just love this one. I love that it's pink. This metallic pink is so pretty. And this other one is also from Harney and Sons. It's called Paris. And it just, y'all, these just smell so good. Like if you're stressed out, one of the best things you could do. Is smell things that you love, like pure vanilla extract or pure peppermint extract or a tea that you love or drink hot tea. It's a very comforting thing. But isn't that one pretty? That's blue and copper colored and just the Paris emblem. This one is white and pink metallic cover colored. So they're just both. I love these teas. So there you go. There you have it. Okay. So there's my teas I love. Then there's candles that I love, and there's a lot more of them, as you might imagine, and did I even get them all? I don't know if I have a favorite, but if I did, if y'all don't know what it is, after Thanksgiving and just the whole fall thing, if you do not know by now, you've not been watching me. What is it? Before I take it out, there's a hint, but it's not the leaves candle, even though that is a leaf, it is a fall candle leaves again, but it's not the leaves candle. What is it? Come on. Cider Lane. I used to say Cedar Lane. That's so funny. It's Cider Lane. Y'all, I hope they have this one again next year. They had it again this year. Oh my gosh, that is just so perfect for fall. I'm so in love with it. It's almost out. No, I use them up pretty quick. Um, I have to do these kinds when my husband's not here, like when he goes hunting or something, or if he's working late or something, because the three wick candles do bother him. He puts too much scent in the air for him. Or two wick. Here's another two wick one that I love. And this is by the Tyler Candle Company. Y'all know that Cider Lane is uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm sorry. Bath & Body Works. And it's made by Slatkin and & Company. As sweet as the trip to a local apple orchard each year. A delicious fall blend of mulled cider, warm caramel, and sweet cinnamon. It may be my favorite of all time. I don't know. But anyway, I say that and then I come to another one that's my favorite of all time. And that's this one. The name of this candle is Abundance. And there's something about this scent that I can't even explain. It's just ethereal. It's like heavenly. Oh my gosh. I just want to light this one. But that's another two wicker. So I have to do it when Lancey's not home and not going to be home. Um, um, does it say the notes? This one does not give the notes. All I can tell you. Heavenly. It's made by Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R, Candle Company. And it says experience the difference, and it is. It is a bougie, perfume, perfumed candle. And all I have to say is you have to smell this one. It's called Abundance. Okay? Another one by the same company that I also love, Tyler Candle Company, is called High Maintenance. I got that just because, yes. Oh, my gosh. And it is so good. It just smells like a resort. Or a fancy hotel or a beach place. I don't know. It doesn't smell beachy at all. It just smells fancy. It just smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, I love the Tyler ones. Okay. But then again, here's another Slatkin one, I think. Where's this white barn? Hold on a second. This is Bath and Body Works Home Candles. And this one is made by Bath and Body Works Home. I don't know if they're all connected. But this one is called Paris, and it's the Lavender Macaron. Or Macaron. Oh my gosh, that, it just is the best combination of, I can't even tell you. Does it tell you? Let's see if it does. A truly French treat that combines the fragrance of lavender, 
blossoms with a delicate patisserie cookie. Yeah, it has a cookie smell. But there's an overnote of lavender. It's just, and yet it's pink colored, which is why I loved having it back there when I had my little. And you know, I'm always going to change up the backdrop. But um, that's another favorite. Here's another favorite, and this is by a brand I rarely talk about. Because out of all of them, this is the only one that I have gotten a lot of. And it's Colonial Candle, and it's Pumpkin Pie. And y'all, for the longest, this was my favorite all-time candle. I got it in a 22 ounce. Um, right now, it just smells like burnt wick. Because one of the things, I can't stand the smell of a blown-out candle. Because it reminds me of when I was a little girl, and the birthday party was over, and they blew out the candles, and I would be so sad. I couldn't stand the smell. Anyway. So I closed them to put it out, and the only thing is it does make it have a little bit of a smelly, a smoky smell when you do that. And then I have two others. These are Yankee Candles Summer Scoop. Man, this is an all-time winner as well. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. What is, I mean, does it say, does it say? No, it's a Summer Scoop. It doesn't say what the notes are, y'all, but it's a um, Yankee Candle House Warmer. It's a one wicker. And I really should do the medium size instead of this large. They're $26, and I think the medium are like $22. Oh, my gosh. But I love it. It's pink. And last but not least, I have this one. I always buy the little accessories. Look at this. I bought the little shade and the little matching plate to sit it on. I'm such a... Yeah, I know. And this one is Golden Sands. I also like the pink sands. <coughs> Excuse me. I just swallowed wrong. It just smells so good. You can have this year round. <coughs> I promise these smells aren't making me feel this way. But um, anyway, so that's just some of my favorites that aren't makeup and hair and all that. That's candles and teas and coffees. And I just thought y'all might be interested to know what I like. And I'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye, 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 bye.